right now with the narrow based government that you say the broad based government they say um what is the future of Gashagwa? and probably also Musali Mudavadi where does he stand in this government mm, the marbles are still rolling they haven't uh, settled but uh, even as I see the marbles rolling I see every effort to alienate Rigadi Gashagwa from the formation and uh, part of it uh, is of his own making. He didn't pick up any lessons from Ruto and Uhuru. He arrived and continued behaving the same way Ruto had behaved as if he was another center of power in government, only that uh, Ruto was a little more guarded than himself because Ruto uh, never claimed any shares in the Uhuru government. Mm -hmm. Gashagwa has done so and uh, made the plot quite thick for himself. Um, he's going to be fought very, very very hard. Uh, Ruto has unleashed. You know, Comrade Napoleon in Animal Farm comes with these dogs and unleashes them. Mm -hmm. And the snowball is chased out of the farm. And anyone else who is dissenting has got content with Napoleon's dogs. Napoleon has unleashed his dogs against a snowball in the mountain and uh, Mr. Gashagwa is going to face more and more of that music. Mm -hmm. The quest within uh, ODM Kenya Kwanza is to have somebody else as uh, the Ruto running mate. Mdavadi would ordinarily be a preferred running mate for Ruto, assuming that he had a hold on the Luya people, mm -hmm. but he doesn't have. Mm -hmm. He's my friend, you know. Now, friendship is different from these things that we are discussing here. So there's no animus between Salia Mudavadi and I. He's my friend. If we meet, we will have a, a cup of tea. Uh, we could even do so on appointment, not just upon running into each other. Uh, because he's my friend, I also owe him the truth. Mm -hmm. And the truth is that he has no hold on the Luya. Yeah, yeah. He can't rally them. Uh, we tried to help him to rally them the last time, and we were able to manage only a very small fraction. And it's because he's aloof. We tell him, go and mingle with the Luya people. Go and see them. Go and talk to them. Make them feel you. He doesn't do that. Yeah? He comes to Luya land when there's a, a high-profile funeral that he must attend. Then he'll make a few discordant, random pronouncements there and go away until either when there's another eminent person's funeral or when William Ruto is visiting the region and earlier on when he was friends with the Odinga political allies he would come when Odinga is coming but never on his own to hear that Mdavadi has put together a rally he's bringing the Luya people together in Bokongo Mm -hmm. and addressing them or in Masi in the Muriro, in Bungoma or in uh, Kakamega. No, so he doesn't have grip on the people. And they are emerging now new youthful generations that are not even interested in the history of uh, Mdavadi or the Mdavadi family that his father was this, his father was that. Mm -hmm. 
there are new generations that know about the pulsating problems and challenges of the day and they want to see people who are addressing them. And when that reality dawns upon William Ruto, he is likely to drop Msaliam Davadi like a hot brick and attempt to find out whether there are other influence mongers within the lawyer community. Mm -hmm. so, Who else? So um, then, uh, will that be uh, Papa Waroma? Papa Waroma has no grip <laughs> on the Abaluya people. Mm -hmm. He has he has six members of parliament. <laughs> Mudavadi has eight. Mm -hmm. Papua Roma has six. And you can say that, oh, Bungoma voted for Ruto. Part of that was direct. Mm -hmm. Because even in 2017, part of Bungoma voted for Jubilee and Ruto. Mm -hmm. And 2013, it was the same. Yeah. So the Luya terrain has got tectonic plates that are, are still shifting. They are waiting to settle. And the Luya nation is throbbing with absence of clearly defined visionary leadership. The political maestros that we have in Luya land today are self-focused internally ingesting individuals who once they have filled themselves with the victuals, victuals, the viands, with the food, they cause no trouble. I've seen some young people cheekily say, Hawa, wanaitwa Akishiba Hasumboi. Akishiba. Hasumboi. Na wewe ukiwa aina ili ambayo akishiba hasumboi. You cannot lead people because these people are hungry. They want opportunities. They don't want handouts. Mm -hmm. They want opportunities to look after themselves. And both Sadia Mdavadi and Papa Aroma, Moses, Masika, Wetangula, who are my friends? have failed the lawyer people. Mm -hmm.